here in this video we will see a problem on calculation of shear stress for an i section here is the question i'll write that in the form of data an i section i section beam 350 mm into 200 mm has a web thickness of 12.5 mm and flange thickness of 25 mm so these are the dimensions given it carries a shearing force of 200 kN shearing force is denoted by f it is 200 kN so 200 into 10 raised to 3 newton at a section sketch shear stress distribution across the section so for that shear stress distribution diagram is what we have to draw now since it is given that we have an i section we can start the problem by drawing the diagram Now, here is the I section. I'll mark the dimensions over that. It is 350 mm into 200 mm. So, three fifty mm is the depth here into two hundred mm. Next has a web thickness of twelve point five mm. So web thickness is twelve point five mm. Then and a flange thickness of twenty five mm. So thickness of upper and bottom flange are same twenty five mm. Now, after drawing the uh, I section which is given in the problem, here I have marked all the dimensions. We have to find draw the shear stress distribution diagram. And for that purpose, we need to know the values of shear stress at different locations. So first, I'll start in this way that since the given I section is symmetric, so here is the y axis of the i section and its distance from the reference is x bar so as the given i section is symmetric therefore x bar will be half of 200 that is 100 mm next y bar will be equal to it is half of 350 that is the location of x axis this is also called as a neutral axis that is 175 mm now here is at this point we have the centroid which is at the intersection of x and y axis now in this case after getting x bar y bar we are going to find the moment of inertia about the neutral axis and also since here we have an i section and we have to draw the stress distribution diagram so we require stresses at or we can say shear stresses at various locations so first we will calculate the shear stress at this location then here and then at last at the neutral axis so now after reaching here i will say that since Am I about neutral axis is given by we know that the neutral axis is located 
at a distance of 175 mm from bottom so mi about this neutral axis that will be given by ixx is equal to from the complete section that is bd cube by 12 minus that is what i am doing here is i am taking the complete rectangle which is having 200 mm width and 350 mm depth so from this complete rectangle i am going to subtract two small rectangles which is here so how i'll get the moment of inertia is from the complete rectangle that is capital b d q by 12 i am going to subtract the moment of inertia for these two small rectangles so for them i can write this as the value of width will be from 200 i will subtract 12.5 so that will give me the total width here so it is 200 minus 12.5 that gives us b and d is the depth of this small rectangle which is 350 minus it is 25 plus 25 that is 50 so 350 minus 50 that is 300 so into 300 cube that is b d cube divided by 12 so here i'll put the values of capital b and d capital b it is 200 capital d is 350 minus the terms here which gives me an answer of this entire term as 421.87 into 10 raised to 6 and after i calculate this i will get the answer of ix6 as it is 292.71 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 so here i have got the value of ix6 now i'll say that since shear stress at the junction of flange and web is given by so now shear stress at the junction of flange and web is given by tau 1 is equal to f a y bar upon i into b1 keeping this as equation number 1 now here I'll say that F is given in the problem that was shearing force. So it is 200 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. Next, area. Here we are calculating shear stress at the junction of web and flange. So it means we are calculating at this location. So here the area is area of the flange that is 200 into 25 and that comes out to be 5000 mm square then y bar y bar is since we want to calculate the shear stress at the junction which is at the flange so y bar is the distance of the x axis of the flange and the x axis which is the neutral axis this distance is y bar and it can be calculated as since from bottom it is 175 mm from the top also this distance is 175 so from 175 I'll subtract half of 25 that gives me this y bar distance so 175 minus 25 by 2 so that gives me an answer of it is 162.5 mm then only b1 is left here b1 is the width where we want to calculate the value of shear stress here the width is 200 mm so now once we have found out all values we can say that put all values in equation number one so i'll put the values onto the next page
so we have tau 1 is equal to f it is 200 into 10 raised to 3 a it is 5000 y bar 162.5 upon i that is the moment of inertia we have found out this value 292.71 10 raised to 6 that is i into b1 which is 200 so on calculating this i will get the answer of tau 1 as 2.77 Newton per mm square. Now, after getting tau 1, to calculate tau 2, here I'll use a relation that using the relation of shear stress and width of the section. So, the relation is tau 1 upon tau 2 is equal to b2 by b1 that is it is inversely proportional because if we look into the formula of tau is equal to f a y bar upon i b if i take all these terms as constants then tau is inversely proportional to b that is if b goes on decreasing shear stress goes on increasing that is at minimum width shear stress is maximum and where width is maximum shear stress will be minimum so tau 1 is the shear stress at width of 200 mm now we want tau 2 and that will be at a width of 12.5 mm that is here at this location i'll say this is 0.1 this is 0.2 so we have found out tau 1 now tau 2 is at 12.5 mm so using this special relation tau 2 will be equal to tau 1 into b1 by b2 therefore tau 1 is 2.77 into b1 and b2 values b1 is 200 b2 is 12.5 so on calculation i will get the value of tau 2 and it comes out to be 44.32 Newton per mm square. Now we have found out the shear stress at section 1. Now at section 2. Next I will calculate the shear stress at the neutral axis. So I will write the formula. Now since I will write down maximum shear stress maximum shear stress because it will there it will be there at the neutral axis maximum shear stress at the neutral axis is given by we can directly write the formula that is tau max is equal to it is f into a1 y1 plus a2 y2 upon i into b now here a1 and A2 values. A1 is the area of the flange. So I'll write down A1 is equal to 200 into 25, which is 5000 mm square. Next, after this, area 2. A2 will be equal to, since I am considering the neutral axis. So I have to consider the area above the neutral axis. So flange was 200 into 25. Web it is 12.5 mm width and height of the web is it is 175 from total that is from 175 mm. If we subtract 25 that will give us this height. So it is 12.5 into 175 minus 25 that gives us area 2. And the answer is 1875 mm square. So getting this as area 2. Now y1 and y2 values. Therefore y1 will be. It is nothing but the distance between x axis of the flange and the neutral axis. So this distance is 162. We have already calculated 162.5. 
this is 162.5 mm then y2 y2 is now we have this web and the height of the web is above the neutral axis this is 150 mm so taking half of this will give us y2 that is 75 mm now i can say that therefore tau max will be here in the formula we have f f was 200 into 10 raised to 3 area 1 5000 into y1 a1 y1 plus a2 y2 upon ib so i'll put go on putting the values area 2 1875 into y2 upon i value that is 292.71 into 10 raised to 6 and b is nothing but the width of the web which is 12.5 so on calculation of this i am getting the answer of tau max as 52.09 Newton per mm square. This is the maximum value of shear stress. So now, after getting the values of shear stresses at different locations, I'll plot the shear stress distribution diagram. In this shear stress distribution diagram, first I'll draw the I section, which was given in the problem. Here I'll mark the neutral axis, projecting the neutral axis light. Now, for the shear stress distribution diagram, first I'll draw the vertical line. And here, shear stress is zero at the extreme ends. Uh, next. Here I had given this as 0.1. So tau 1 value was 2.77. So it will be somewhere here. Tau 1 as 2.77 Newton per mm square. Next, at section 2 here, the area is decreasing. So stress will increase and it will increase up to a value of tau 2 and tau 2 was 44.32 newton per mm square in a similar manner since it is an i section here i'll mark tau 1 and tau 2 at the bottom as well so the shear stress variation will be in the form of an arc from tau it is equal to 0 so tau 1 next at the neutral axis we are getting the maximum value of shear stress and that is 52.09 newton per mm square so at the neutral axis we are getting tau max 52.09 newton per mm square now so this is the shear stress variation for an I section or we can say the shear stress distribution diagram where the shear stress is zero at the extreme fibers at section one that is at the junction of where the flange is connected to web it is 2.77 newton per mm square where the area decreases that it is section two the stress is 44.32 newton per mm square and at last at the neutral axis it is maximum shear stress and here it will go up to a maximum value similarly here the shear stress will go on increasing up to a maximum value and with this we complete the problem